Don't we all fantasize entering Jannah without being called to account? Well, I have many times, but we really have no idea which one of us will be given that privilege by Allah. A recent story that came to light of Anthony Mark Wayne Wright from Birmingham, UK, was heartwarming, to say the least. From non-Muslim to martyr in 24 hours, a heartwarming journey of transformation and friendship. In this video, we will delve into the journey from darkness to light in a beautiful ending that seems unreal. Anthony Wayne Wright worked at Morrison's in Small Heath, Birmingham for a period of time. Anthony had no family, but he wasn't sad or perturbed as he was surrounded by Muslim friends who fulfilled his need for companionship and affection. One day, Anthony received a devastating news that he had stage 4 cancer and his life was nearing its end. In the face of this devastating news, he made an extraordinary decision to have his funeral arranged by the Green Lane Masjid instead of the church. At that time, Anthony had not yet embraced Islam. His Muslim friends, full of compassion, invited him to convert before his time came. Finally, on a Thursday, Anthony firmly uttered the testimony of faith, shahada, and became a part of the Muslim Brotherhood. Now we're all aware that upon taking the testimony of faith, a person's previous sins are all forgiven by Allah. Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most compassionate, the most merciful. Anthony Wainwright was now free of all his previous sins. Then comes the amazing twist in the story. Not even 24 hours later, Allah called back Anthony Wainwright to him. His death occurred on a Friday, and we know that a person who passes away on a Friday is saved from the punishment of the grave. Anthony took the shahada on Thursday and would have all his sins erased and then passes away on Friday. Where would he have sinned during that time? The greatest stories are written by great writers and the story of life is penned by Allah, the mighty and majestic, the greatest writer of our fate and destiny. He had written this beautiful ending for Anthony and once his story is written, the pens are lifted and the ink is dry. This story teaches us that there is hope, there is mercy, there is guidance only if our hearts are open and receptive. Allah sends down His mercy eternally, but shouldn't we be ready to accept it? Another important concept in Islam is the nature of your closest companions. Abu Huraira reported, the Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said, a man is upon the religion of his friend. So let one of you look at whom he befriends. Anthony Wainwright spent his last phase of his life without family, but with Muslim companions. And he passed away upon the religion. Reported by Hadrat Aisha radiallahu anha, who said, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If a Muslim dies, and his funeral prayer is attended by a group of a hundred Muslims, and they all sincerely pray for his forgiveness, he is forgiven. No blood relatives, but more than a hundred Muslim brethren attended his janazah. And Green Lane Masjid mentioned in their Facebook, Alhamdulillah, several hundred attended the janazah prayer and the burial of Brother Anthony Wainwright this afternoon. May Allah forgive his sins and make his grave wide and bright and elevate his status in Jannah. Ameen. Remember, we all want a beautiful ending. We all want a peaceful akhirah. We can achieve all of it by abiding by Allah's laws and enjoying the good and forbidding the evil.